the fam, that's what they call me I promise that you'll never be lonely Be the fam, that's what they call me I promise that you'll never be lonely What's up guys, it's your boy Big Juicy It's your boy Damien And today, it's all about this man And how thankful we are that he served for this great country um, yeah, so we're gonna talk about, I don't know, we're gonna keep, try to keep this short about my military experience. Um, so... He doesn't like talking about it, first of all. I mean, yeah, I don't. I mean, cause I, I never went over, like, to Iraq and shit. I never saw, like, the war war. So, I mean, there's people like that that have seen it and... But he's uh, seen, you've seen a little. Yeah, I've seen a little, just not a lot. But, I don't know, like... I was fresh out of high school, 18, didn't know what I wanted to do with my life, and I talked to my parents, because my, my grandpas, they served, and so I talked to my mom and dad about it, and they're like, yeah, go ahead, it sounds like a good choice path for you, so I joined the army. <laughs> you know? Worst so, mistake you could have I mean, done? It, no, it's not worse, but I mean, there's a lot to do before you get in there. Like, you have to go take your ass fab and go to maps and do all this other shit before you can become what you want to become. Like, I wanted to be, me growing up, I wanted to be a police officer. So I went in as a 31 Bravo military police. So I went in and first you just go to your basic training. Right? <laughs> it's, it's everybody, you got, you know, your mechanics, everybody's together just for their basic training. And I remember going up to Lansing, and it was all, they're all happy, fun, joy. It was like six of us. Well, then we all wake up, get to the hotel, you know, start eating our breakfast, and I'm like, yeah, let's go to the Plains. So I went to Fort Leonard Wood for my basic in at AIT. But <laughs> we flew, right? We flew there, and then we go in, they're all still fucking, hey, how you doing? Doing great. Well, we went in that night, we flew there, slept, <laughs> slept that night, and then next morning, totally fucking different world. I mean, it went from, like, being your best friend to, I'm gonna shove fucking... Because they're trying to tear you down and build you yeah, back up the way that, exactly. to their standards. Yeah, so, like, they want to pretty much remold the person you are. Right. But we wake up and I remember fucking just pots and pans and ping, 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 get the fuck up, you know all this other shit and we all get up, we're all getting up and then we go to get our haircuts and at this time I, I, I don't know like Justin Bieber style hair I guess <laughs> but we go in we're all lined up, you know fuck I had like patches here patches here not a very good haircut. But we run through all that, get all our gear, all this, and then we're getting these things they call them cattle trucks. I mean, it's literally a fucking it's a cattle, cattle car. car. Yeah. Like, put your horses and stuff in with just seats. And I remember <laughs> just sitting there, there, of course, they're all like, look down, don't look at us. We're all looking down at our rucks and shit. All scared as hell, you know? We're all, we're all 18. I mean, there are some older people in their 30s. Really? Yeah. Yeah, there's, like, especially when I was in basic, I think. Damn. There's majority younger kids, but there, I mean, we had some that were in their Isn't 30s. Like Chris Kyle's in there? Yeah. Like oh, yeah. They're, like, in their 30s, and, you know, I think the oldest one was in his, like, 40s. Oh, yeah. But I remember then they all, get off the bus, get off the bus. <laughs> and when you're coming off the bus, they're pushing you to your squads, right? Or your platoons. You're going platoon one, platoon three, platoon two. Okay. And I got put into platoon one and uh i just remember fucking they're in your face like literally You're spitting and spitting. shit right i mean yeah it's just spitting and this is called red phase your first two weeks are called red phase it's like the worst phase could be because they're breaking you i mean they're breaking <laughs> they're you supposed down. to yeah but and it's like I don't know, they're breaking me down and shit, and I don't know, it was, it was a fun experience, I'm not gonna lie, I think everybody should join the military, because it does, it does change you, personally. You I mean, still do shit to this fucking day, yeah, OCD. Exactly, I, I, I mean, mean, like, because they want you to keep your bunk organized, all your shit nicely folded up, and it's still stuck with me today, like, 
I can't have, like I walk into people's houses if their picture frames crooked. I go fix it because it bothers the piss. I know he does that in my house all the time. I do it at my girlfriend's mom's. I do it at everybody's. But <laughs> he does it everywhere. The first two weeks are horrible, man. Like I don't know. Like you go in and. The first night we fell asleep, I remember falling asleep for like maybe an hour and they come in and start making us do push-ups, sit-ups, and all this other no shit. No shit. And then like shower time during red phase, it's literally a line of people. You walk in, there's six different shower heads. First one, get a little soap. Second one, get a little bit more water. Second, third one, put fucking soap on you. Fourth one, rinse off. Fifth one, rinse off. You out. Like you're just going like a conveyor belt. Damn. And I remember going to Chow, like, we had only a certain amount of time to eat. Like, I like I'm, I still do it today. I eat fast. I, yeah, he I, does. Like, I'll finish my whole meal before my girlfriend gets her pork chop time, you know? Even on her plate. Yeah. And that's just, it just stuck tell with him, me. Tell him uh, the story about the shovel. All right. So, I went, <laughs> to, I went there during winter, and... We got woke up at like 2, 3, 5 in the morning. First snowfall. And they have free labor. People like me. So we go out. And I'm cold, fucking freezing. And I'm like, I don't want to show the snow. So I like, way the back of the line. Like, if I don't get a snow shovel, I don't have to shovel. I was wrong. So I didn't get a snow shovel. There's like four of us. And Joe Sargent, he's like, he's like, you need to go to the child, get a fucking spoon. <laughs> Spoon, dude. So, what do I do? <laughs> I'm fucking out there with a little plastic spork shoveling fucking snow. Bro, come ever, on. <laughs> ever since that day, I'm first in that line to get a fucking snow shovel. I mean... Bro. But, I mean, like, people will tell you their experiences are different. Like, I don't know. I kind of like it. I like the structure of it. You know. Oh, the gas you, chamber, too. Oh, yeah. Yeah, well, yeah, the gas chamber. That was fun. No. Like, <laughs> like they go in, they light it. You got your gas mask on. The first thing you start feeling is your neck burning. Because I've seen pictures of it you yeah. were showing me. Yeah, like, you get your neck neck starts burning. Then they're like, take it off. Then they have you breathe, do push-ups, and then they have you put it back on, clear it out. And then after, everybody in the whole line's got to do it with you. Like, you go in, like, groups of, like, six. So if that one person doesn't get their mask on right... The whole other five are suffering the consequences because they're trying to build that team. Fuck. But I remember coming out just snot rolling, coughing, puking. Well, it's gas, ain't it? It's mustard gas or something? I mean, it's not. Mustard gas, no. It's kind of like tear gas, I would say. But That's just fucking nuts, dude. Like, everybody would tell you... What were you thinking, though, during that? What? Oh, I was going to die. (laughs) <laughs> you were gonna die, you oh, thought? Because, like, too, you take your mask off, like, you breathe, your whole throat's on fire, your lungs are on fire, and you're, cough, you're coughing like that, you're... And fucking... Could you breathe? Bad. Yeah, I mean, you can breathe, but it's kind of like... Kind of like that pepper. Oh, okay. Like, you're breathing that hotness in, Dude, but it's sucks. ten times worse. Fuck that. You know? There you go. There you go. But it's like 10 times worse, but like, I don't know. Like, I went to... <laughs> <laughs> it's fucking horrible. Get a spoon. It is. It's, like, it, but that's I was thinking a metal though. spoon, and when he no, told me the fucking plastic spork, like, I was like, what the fuck? There's different times, like, yeah, like, I remember our first, uh, I'm trying to think what they called it, like our, like a pass, like a free day. Oh, you, know, you get to leave? Yeah. But it was only six hours. So <laughs> we all we all go, boom, crazy, right? Where'd you go? Oh, another thing is, is when I went in, I had a drill sergeant that's like a town over from us that I used to hang out with and party back when I was in high school. So me and him came really close. Really? No shit. Yeah. Like first, when they go in, or I mean, I skipped it, but when you first go in, they bring you in a classroom after they separate you. The drill sergeants go up and tell them where they're from and... You know, this one says, anyone from Michigan? So we all stand up who was from Michigan. There was like four of us. But as soon as I seen him, I knew exactly who it was. Did he treat you differently? Well, I wasn't in his platoon. Oh. Okay. So he, he was third platoon. I was first platoon. Oh, okay. But I still knew him. Yeah. You know, like he knew me. Like I remember he come up. He's like, he said, he's like, you know, Damien, my last name, which I don't know if I've ever said it on here. No. And he's like, don't. He's, I know. <laughs> he's like, he's like, 
He's like, so we got ourselves a Jonesville comic. <laughs> and I was like, he's like, you know who I am? I'm like, yes, Drill Sergeant. And you always have to say, yes, Drill Sergeant, or no Drill Sergeant. Like, <laughs> before you even say any, like, if you say a sentence, there be, better be a Drill Sergeant at the end of it. If not, you're getting smoked. But we all go out in our past, right? And as I'm walking out, this Drill Sergeant I was close with, he's like, don't eat a lot of junk food. Everybody's going to go do it. He's like, because when we come back, we're going to smoke the shit out of you. <laughs> and everybody's going to be throwing up. So I went out, and I went out and bought, like, a new phone, um, some Christmas presents. It was around that time for my family, and I ate Chinese. That's it. I had a little thing of Chinese. Everybody else, like my battle buddy and shit, they're scuffing down candy bars, energy drinks. I mean, eating Chinese, going to this place, eating buffalo chicken, going over what here. What the fuck? The, I mean, eating a shit because you don't get this kind of food. They're not, they don't know that when they come back, though. Oh, shit. But we all come back. Well, and then people trying to sneak in candy bars and shit. Like, they they found the shit. They find it. But I remember coming back, and as soon as we come back, we're all in formation, and they're all like, oh, yeah, you know, y'all can go inside. And then, of course, drills aren't the one who's an asshole. He's like, oh, no, no, no. He's like, he's like, uh, eight count push up, which is a horrible push up. And I remember just doing them for days, and then, like, everybody around me is puking their, I mean, puking their guts out. I mean, just, burp. And they're all How like, did you not puke? Because when you see people puke, you puke. Uh, like that one time I puked. Yeah. I don't you know. Puke. I didn't puke, but it's just, like, the sense of, because I listened, I don't know, I guess. I well, he was a friend, yeah. and was like, hey, don't And do I mean, this. I told people about it, like, I'm like... We're gonna get smoked when we get back. They're like, nah, it's a free day. It's free day. Nah. It ain't <laughs> nah, they go. It ain't free. But you know, and then it's like <laughs> it's like I remember one one guy, he uh he somehow smuggled tobacco in. No oh, shit. Well they found it. And no one would confess to it because it was hidden up in the bathrooms. Well they we all knew who it was, but we're not gonna rat each other out. But we took care of it. Our, after our smoking out in the rubber tire pit, us as a platoon handled that one guy. What'd you do? I can't do it. Yeah, you can. No, I can't. Yeah, you can. Oh, we just beat him with soap. Soap? Okay, yeah, soap. Sock, you know? Yeah. That's what they do in prison. It's consequences. Yeah, bro. dude. Like, you're not going to man up to your own shit. Yeah. You shouldn't have got in trouble because you guys were a team and didn't snitch out. Exactly, yeah. Yeah, fuck them. Like, you, like you should have been a man and been like, that's mine, and then you would have been the only one getting smoked. Right. But, no, you got, you know, 40 other dudes out here in fucking... Like, I went out in just shorts, and... Because I thought we were all just getting a talking to, but, no. Go out in this rubber-ass pit, fucking do sit-ups and push-ups. What's a rubber-ass pit? What do you mean? It's just like your normal car tires chopped up. Yeah? Like little rubber chunks. Yeah. That's all it is. And it's a pit? Yeah, it's like a big ass. And you gotta do shit in it? Yeah. Dude, that sounds like, horrible. Like we used to do our hand to hand combat into it. That's horrible. Like wrestling. Why? Just where they did it. It's fucking horrible. I mean, like it, it don't have like the wires and sh- I mean some of them do, but <laughs> right. But but like I don't know, like people's military experiences are different. Like I recommend people join. Like it was, like I did four years and. <laughs> You've already said that. I you know, but. I, <laughs> It's like, I recommend, because I had a good, I mean, I might have had a good time, but. You had a decent amount of time to do it again. Night, yeah, I would. Like, if they called me up and said, hey, Damien, you want to rejoin? I probably would. Because, I mean. Keep you out of trouble. Yeah. I, I, yes, you might I gain some weight back. Yeah, I mean, yeah, that's another thing. Like, I went in weighing, like, 100 pounds, like, 100 pounds, like, soaking wet. I came out weighing 165. Like, I gained 65 pounds. Just pure but, muscle. Mm-hmm. I remember when we worked out, I couldn't get him past 150. Yeah, but I was also, like, there, you're on a strict schedule every day. Like, right. you wake up, you go to chow, you go to work, then you go to your classes, and then pretty much just learn about, like, AIT, learn about your MLS. Like, I learned about police shit. Right. And then I became a police officer when I got stationed in Fort Leonard. Right. So, I mean, I learned about the law. Like, that's another thing. Military law and civilian law, totally different. See, I don't know how they justify that shit. It's, it's, like, strict. it's like their own society. Yeah, exactly. Like, like, like kind of, it's kind of like we have like our United States laws, but then we have our Michigan laws. 
Right. So it's kind of like we have so, our military. So military trumps federal. I wouldn't say that, but they're yeah. just way strict. Yeah. On their set of laws. Okay. But you know what I mean, like another. You got any more stories? No. I do. No, I'm not talking about it. I don't care what you say. I'm gonna say it. Can I tell it? I guess. I'm gonna tell it. So listen, there. He doesn't like talking about this, but I'm gonna get shit when this camera gets turned off. But I don't care. But there's this story. We're leaving it for last because it's the most tragic thing probably a person will see, and that he saw pretty much. Uh, he he was roadside bombed. I will tell you that, and he was like, upside down and shit. I don't know. All right, I'll you, tell it. Fuck it. Okay. All right. It's uh, like so. He does not like talking about this. All right, we're we're stationed somewhere. I'm not gonna tell you where. Um, yeah, you but, can't. Don't say that. <laughs> you can't say that. Well, we're stationed somewhere, and we still let locals come in, cause I don't know. We weren't in a very hostile environment, I should say. Right. But we had we had always had these group of kids come in and shit and play soccer with us every day. Like after I got done doing my watchtower shit, I either went surfing or went and fucking played soccer with these kids like a bunch of us did because it wasn't that hostile there it was pretty much a prison i was pretty much a prison guard so you were like a prison guard yeah yeah but <clears throat> these tall heads i guess i'll say <laughs> terrorist okay isis they let's use say the, they use these kids as a pawn and a tool which is what they're known yes, for but at this per- particular day i wasn't out there i was at work when we're when this happened, but they pretty much put a bomb in a kid. Kid. So body. no, you said one day you went to go play soccer with yeah. him and he didn't show up. Yeah, he didn't show up. He didn't show up for like a couple he didn't days. Show, yeah, like this one kid that always came. And you said he came every day for yeah. like a year straight. Yeah. Like you knew like the came, exact time he was yeah, gonna come. He came every day and shit, but he just quit coming. And, and then you said you were worried. Yeah, I was and worried. Then one day you got a call. Yeah, I got a yeah. call and pretty much he came in with a bomb. Killed. Inserted in his stomach, and I was at work, and he ended up. I mean, he, I don't think he killed anybody, but he injured like three or four soldiers. That's but crazy, that's like man. that's the thing. Like, you wouldn't think people would do that, especially the kids. That's why they want. That's what they they expect you not to think that. That's why. But then, they sent him like, in there probably for like intelligence yeah. and like you know like. But it's just like who's who's. Like, you They're probably like trying to get like I a tell big, you, big person. I tell you, after that happened, like <laughs> lockdown twenty four yeah, seven. Like we like, didn't let no one in. Hell no. But I just remember like work was. I don't know. I'm not saying it was easy, but it's pretty much like your nine to five job. Like I went. It's to not work. very stressful yeah, physical. It, yeah, it's not. Like I did prison shit. Right. Like I fed fucking people. Like. Unruly motherfuckers walk in there with your QRF team, beat them with sticks, and drag them They out. put piss on them even yeah, saying they throw, shit. They, they throw, throw shit. shit at you, piss. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy, like, dude. I mean, it's not... I mean, it's. I guess it's kind of like a normal prison guard here where we live. They get piss and shit thrown at them. Right. But, like, ours are terrorists, I guess. Right. Yours little, are, like, little, little more wards of up. America, yeah. like, American prisoners. But it's, like, like I don't know, it's... It, that story I really don't like talking about. It's something... Just because it involves a kid, I guess. Well, that's one of the stories that has given him PTSD. Yeah, I mean... But the other story... I mean, he doesn't mind talking about this. Was the road, Well, kind of, but... Was the roadside bomb right now? Oh, yeah. When the guy, like, his truck was, like, fucking 20 feet in the air. Like, yeah, it's... The whole road. He said you could see the whole fucking road, like... Like, just boom. like it looked like it looked like Godzilla coming out. It was like I don't know. It was like yeah. weird. What did you? What were you even fucking thinking when you were in that Humvee? What? Well, like that's the thing. Like that's all it was. It was just the one bomb. There was like no gunfight after nothing like that. But, right. It was just. An but ID. it was just the one. Yeah. It was just the one ID. Like. But it, you said it took your truck out. The truck behind yeah, it out. It was a like, big one. Like. Yeah. It was big. Like we were in a three convoy. And it hit the middle one, which I was, and I was in the front one. But the, just the force of it, it flipped, flipped you. It flipped That's us. Crazy. It pretty much demolished the fucking middle one. No one was killed. I mean, some were injured, but no one was killed. And then the back one, he was just a little. 
If he was probably like three more feet ahead, he'd have got it. See, this is why I don't understand where you say you never saw combat because that's combat it, it, to me. To a civilian yeah, that like, doesn't, that's combat. To me, combat's like firefights. I understand, but like, to people that's gonna watch this video, that's combat because they don't know no different. Yeah, you see what I'm saying? I guess, but like to me, combat's like firefights. You're scar. He's scarred to this day still about this shit. Like, I mean, this is another thing you guys should understand. Like, just for him saying this shit. We do this for you guys, you know, and like, we like, want you guys to be closer to like us. I have, like, I have other friends and family that have been in there. Like, I have one family member. She's been in there since she's 18, and that's what she knows. Like, she, I don't know how many tours, like, because she can't adjust the civilian world. So she just keeps... So how was that when tours. you come out? How was, how'd you, what, what's the oh, first what, thing you like, did? Like, when I came back home? Yeah, what was the first... First thing I did, got McDonald's. <laughs> McDonald's, really? Seriously, I got off the plane. <laughs> I mean, because you don't have that luxury food. You don't get that right. shit. Like, if you want to get food, you walk out to the street vendors out there and pray to God you're not eating fucking dog or cat or rats. Uh, dude, that's like, fucking nasty. Because there, you just got your normal, like, mess out chow, like, right. chow, like, stupid right. fucking <laughs> wannabe meatloaf. Ew, yeah. dude, this shit's nasty. But yeah, first thing I did when I came home was cheeseburger. What well, are the MREs that? Oh, that's a challenge we should do an MRE challenge. I like MREs, are good. So well, if you guys, some of them are. if you guys want to see us do an MRE challenge, make sure this video gets at least twenty likes. We'll do twenty. Yeah, we'll do twenty. We'll do twenty likes and we'll do an MRE challenge together. I like so. them. They're good. Like there are some people that say they're nasty. I like. I like them. the jalapeno cheese and crackers. See, and that's more my favorite. Like. I don't know. There's certain ones I won't eat, like the pork chop. I won't eat it. Really? Yeah, it looks. It's like a gray, flabby piece of fucking meat. Uh, I've seen. But uh, that's another the lasagna thing. ones. Yeah. Yeah. See, a lot of the, <laughs> a lot of the pasta ones are really good. Like really? The panini pasta. They don't not, look the good. The spicy panini pan pasta. Dude. I love that one. But they have this like really killer fucking pound cakes that are in there sometimes. They have a uh, one. My buddy tried to get me to eat was uh fuck. What do you call it? It was the, the protein bar that was in it. Oh, yeah. Dude, fucking the they're nastiest nasty. thing ever. But the funny ever. thing is, is, like... They've had milk... There's milkshake ones yeah, in them? Yeah, milkshake. There's oh, strawberry dude. milkshakes in them. Nasty. How did you eat that? Did like, you really the worst, the worst part of it... Oh, yeah. The worst part... Like, the crackers. I never ate the crackers. Love crackers and the jalapeno cheese. That was my favorite when he got me to eat I like them. the peanut... I used to keep the peanut butter. I didn't eat the really? crackers. Like, they're bread... <laughs> the bread is it's nasty. like an inch thick. Yeah, it's like it's thick bread, but it's so dense. It looks like Texas toast. Yeah, but it's dense. It's really, nasty. really dense. Like it's like fucking a rock. Mm. But uh, yeah, it, I don't know. Like there's, I don't know. There's times where, when I was in the military, like there are like certain parts like you miss about the civilian world, like maybe your freedom. <laughs> <laughs> but at the same time, like I would recommend everybody, if you have the willpower, and the strength, the strength, the the heart. I would, it's all I, about heart. I, yeah, right? I would recommend it. Join it. Yeah. Join join the military. Join any branch. Um, but do it if you want to do it. Don't try. Don't do it for money. Yeah. Don't do it for. Yeah, do it like if you want to better yourself. Because like, I've heard of some people joining just to have a career. Like or one I know of my buddies joined and they had a kid as soon as they got on base yeah. because you get extra mon exactly, money a month. Or if you get married, you get yeah, extra you money. Yeah, you get separate leave and yeah. shit. But like, there's a lot of people that get married when they join too. Yeah. Because they get separation. Then. Yeah, exactly. Oh, thank you, baby. But then there's people that join for college because the military pays your fucking college. <sighs> There's a lot of them like that. That's like a lot of. But they're law. doing like the pussy part of the military, like the National Guard. Yeah, like I mean, it's not a pussy. Yeah, group, whatever. It, but it's not. It's it's a cop out. I think they, if, that's you, that's if I doing. wanted to join the military, which I do, but I never could because I weigh too much, I'd have to drop like two hundred fucking pounds. Straight. But yeah, a lot of people that go. Hard. I want to see route. all the combat in the world. Yeah. Ones that go the National Guard route, they usually go for the college and stuff. Like, yeah. they do one week Which a month, Which is smart two to weeks. do it. It is. It, they pay for it. Exactly. They'll pay every everything. Everything. Like, so, I mean, it's not a dumb. It's just... It's not dumb. I mean... I mean, you're sort of using the military to get a free education. I but, I mean, as long as you do whatever. your time, who yeah. really cares? Yeah, as long... Cause, but that's the thing, though, is when they do that <laughs> route... <laughs> so I know. Shit. When, they, when they do that route with the National Guard, they sign bigger contracts. Right. Like, 
they signed like a six by four, six six active, four inactive. Yeah. But their but their active is one week in a month, two weeks in the summer. Yeah. But there are times like if we like your national guard will get called for like riots and shit. But. They'll get called for riots and <laughs> shit on stateside like New Orleans, like the hurricane came through. They'll go and help relieve shit right. like that. Right. But I'm I probably like, I don't know, like to me the National Guard, it's it's I mean it's the same but it's not the same. Like the structure is totally different. Hey, you're fine. But hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like you said, it's a little sensitive topic for us. Well, him, not me, but and uh, I've, I've helped him through his uh, PTSD. I mean, that shit's no joke. If you guys know people that have it, get him help. It's nothing to fuck with. Yeah, exactly. Take Go to your VAs. I know everybody hates them. Hey, you but need to do it. If you need help, go get help. And if you guys have any military uh, experience or yeah. stories, Dang. comment down the comment down below. We would love to hear them. I know he would love to hear them. Every time we're in Walmart or something or a store and he sees somebody, he always goes up, thanks him for their service, yeah. which I do too, but he wants to hear, he wants to hear their stories. Yeah, I like, he hearing, I like hearing, I like hearing like World War II veteran stories oh, yeah, and stuff dude. like that. That shit's awesome. But, but there's, I don't know, there's some people that don't talk about it at all, which no. I understand. Oh yeah, it's a touchy subject, but it's your boy Big Juicy. It's your boy Damien. Thank you guys. Love his kid. Peace. Bye. Oh, say bye. <laughs> say, say bye. bye. Oh, that was so cute. It's not cutting. Oh, shit. Ah, say bye. Say bye. Bye. Say bye, YouTube.